It's quarantine time. Carana, 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 carana. You know we dance it in. You know we dance it out. Yeah. What? Just trying to get everything all set up for you. Y'all let it sound that. Oh, oh my God, what that? I'm sure that. Yeah, I like that song. Yo, that was, um, who was that? Who was that? That was, um, that was coronavirus. Yo, from me, Valerie. Yo, from Yo, that's a classic. Something like that. Yo. Yo, we got to show, we got to show the, um, the Latinos love too. But that, that, that's, um, that's that Spanish reggae, right? That's that Spanish, Spanish They reggae. call it reggae tone. Reggae tone. Reggae tone. Reggae tone. Reggae tone. Say reggae tone. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I'm just inviting some people. Uh, you should have did that already. Whitley. We don't, we can't be inviting people. They should be here. You should be here. I, I was just giving them a reminder. People still sleeping. You know what I'm saying? It's wrong the season. You still going. You should be here. You should Hey, yo, Diddy, yo, I'm not sending you no more invites, son. That's right. Cause they should be here, and plus, and plus, you know, with this new shit, we got, we got under wraps. We can't talk about yet. We got under wraps, yo. We ain't gonna be inviting. They just gonna be. They just gonna show up. Yo, we got big things, big things coming behind the scenes. We can't talk about it yet. Big things coming. So stay tuned. Hey, yo, yo, check this out. Let me show you something. Let me show you something real quick. Hold up. This is why I was late. I was trying to hook something up. Just came. Check this out. Hold on. Yes, son. Which one, two, three, and the place to be. My name is Daryl, and I'm here with Onika. You like my new microphone? Um, that is very nice, but no good reason of why you're late. I had to check the mail, son. You know they be stealing mail and shit. Um, get your life. Get your life. Check your mail when we're not on. When we're not on quarantine. Quarantine. I'm just saying, mail. shout out to everybody that's still getting their mail. Okay, you just ruined the intro. Wait, your homegirl, Onika? And I'm down with dirt. I'm the dude that ruins the intro. Yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, so welcome to quarantine. You know we're here Monday through Friday, live at 445. But yo, yo, people, that might be changing. We might not oh, oh, be here. <laughs> Live at four forty-five anymore. So you are right, so you got your test back. I'm just saying, cause you know that stuff we have in the works. So we might not be doing live at four forty-five no more. We might be moving to bigger and better things. I think she's doing promo work. I ain't doing nothing yet. Can't talk about it yet. It's a hush, 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 hush situation. It's a hush, hush situation. Make sure, make, remind me never to do a crime with you. You look mad suspicious, son. I think that's the feds. I think that's the feds. I right, anyway, yo. Okay, okay. okay but you, yeah, yeah, I'm excited too. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, yo. Yo, we got, we got to get the show popping though. Because we. All right, let's, let's start the show. Let's start the show. Let's start the show. All right, yo. You, we always like to start it off on a positive note. So, like, Let's get it cracking. Let's get it, Sean. Let's turn right, it up, 100. So this woman, this is Sandra. And yo, Sandra is a boss-ass black woman mechanic. 
And she is on a mission to teach other boss ass black women how to fix their own damn car. I, I, I find that extremely sexy. It is sexy. And do you know, I, did you know, I know how to change my own tire. Get out of here. Yeah, I can fix a flat. I can fix a flat. I was taught how to fix a flat because that's important. Wait, wait, wait. Fixing a flat and changing the tire is two different things. Yeah, fixing a flat. When you fix a flat, you have to change the tire. I don't know if you know that, Daryl, but um, yeah, you have to change the tire. I was just, I was just checking. I was just checking. Okay, making sure, making sure. But yeah, yo, she wants to, she wants to teach a hundred thousand women, and she's from Nigeria. She's the first Nigerian woman mechanic. She wants to teach a hundred thousand women to fix cars, to be mechanic. But that's very ambitious of her. It is, and I hope she does it. I hope she does it. I wish I was there because I know how to change a tire, but like. Yo, transmission shit and stuff like that. And all you, all you fucking mechanics who be robbing people of their money. Wish I knew how to do it myself. Do you know how to change oil? I know how to put oil in the car, but change it outright. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do you know how to do that, huh, Daryl? You know how to get on the car? Yes. You have to get under. Yes. Not on top of the car, under. Yeah. Yeah, Next oh, subject. Oh, before I announce this one, before I announce this one, I want to say, yo, we got a couple happy birthdays today to some icons, icons, icons in the community, in the, in the black world. Yo, today is Malcolm X's birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday, Malcolm X. They killed you because they know they couldn't stop you because you was about to change shit. We was about to stop this motherfucking revolution. So they had to take you out. That's the only reason why. That's the only reason. That's the only reason why. That's the only reason why. Black power, son. That's right, Daryl. That's right. Black power. As soon as I, as soon as I put my stick back on, I'm gonna raise my hand to Black power too because my stick fell. Um. Yeah. Uh, it's also. It's also. I'm so mad that my head is in front of her picture. Um. Here we go. Okay, Black power. It's also Lorraine Hansberry's birthday. Well, happy birthday to Lorraine. That's right. Raisin in the sun and black power. Yo, black power. Oh, oh, oh you just reminded me. You just reminded me. Hey, yo, Trev, you got a gig, son. You got to sing happy birthday to the little boy. Send a videotape. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yo, son, I'm going to need 10% of that because I'm taking calls. Okay, All right, thanks. Like, can, we, can we? That's not part of this show. I'm saying, son, the hustle don't stop for those show. Uh, it does. We don't do it, okay? When you're on this show, we're not cross-promoting, and let's have to do it this show. Anyway. I'm just saying, if you got happy birthday stuff, holla. Okay, anyway, moving right along. Uh, so Erica Badu, Common, and Angela Davis are performing on live stream today, and it's a tribute to Malcolm X for his birthday. Wait a minute, minute. Run that by me again. Erica Badu, come on. And Angela Davis are performing a live stream. And that, that's, really, that's really big, son. To Malcolm Max. I hear you. Thanks for repeating that. You said that slower. Yo, I love that they're doing this. Um, I love that they're doing this. I kind of wish maybe not Joe Scott. I mean, not, not maybe not Erica Badu. Like, I feel like there are other woke artists out there who are less problematic, like a Joe Scott. Um, but yeah, whatever. Can you not always see negative images in people? That wasn't a negative. That was that was definitely a positive. I don't understand. No, nah, I think that was a, um, let me see how I should put this. This is the positive part of the show, so I'm just going to keep it moving. So yeah, keep it moving. And just say, I'm going to watch that. I'm going to tune into that. I'm going to tune in. Shout out to Harlem. Shout out to Harlem. Hey, yo, that's what I was telling my people about. That's, yo, shout out. You see how they didn't even say nothing about that on the news? Yo, but, that, but that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Shout out to Harlem. Yo. But, but, hey, yo, Trev, we got one, son. 
American Idol winner. Yo, Harlem native, Just Sam, just changed the game and was crowned American Idol! Shout out to New York, shout out to Harlem. Yo, shout out, shout out to all the musicians and the artists, but yo, shout out to New York and shout out to Harlem. We just won that shit. American Idol song. I'm, I'm, I just want to say, I'm, I'm broadcasting from Harlem. So shout out to Harlem. Yo, we going to party for Harlem. Yo, we hold it down. He holds down Harlem. I hold down Brooklyn, even though I'm in Chicago right now. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Yo, yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Yo, congratulations. Sister. Yo, did you see the performance? Uh, I did not see it, but shout out to him. Did you see it? No. Oh, damn. Uh, well, in my defense, I have not watched um, American Idol since, like, Fantasia was on there. And but I'm going to tell you this. I will watch it tonight on YouTube. Well, that's what's up. That's what's up. I, and I will share it, too. I definitely, since this person, since, since Just Sam won, I definitely want to, like, I definitely, I definitely want to check them out. I'm going to watch it and I'll make, make sure I send it to you. I want to add Just Sam in the comments. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add Just Sam in the comments and see. You know, so you can see this and see, we shot no Harlem. Shot no, no Harlem. So like, we're going to keep it going while I add Just Sam. Um, so yeah. So like I said, Harlem on American Idol. Where the shiznit? New York, baby. New York. I mean, yeah. Congratulations. You got a lot more winning to do. We just ended up this pandemic, but we stay winning. Yes, we do. That's right. I just, I just want to say, Shorty, you know what? You came from Harlem, and Harlem is always represented. Yes, it is. Represent, you You're going far. But, yo, um, moving right along. Yo, so Chadwick Boseman, T'Challa, Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman just got tapped to play the first African samurai in a movie. Try. Why? Hey, yo, that's dope, son. That's dope. That's that dope. Is dope. That is dope. Yo, I just want to say, I just want to say one thing. Yo, can I get your old spot as Black Panther since you ain't gonna be around no more? Um, but he's still gonna be Black Panther. He is going to be Black Panther and the African Samurai. Wait a minute. I, I heard he wanted more money. That's okay though. He deserves it. Yo, I'm not sure you know, if you're going to give my man more money. Ran into, I ran into Chadwick Boseman like years ago, like before he was Black Panther, right? He had done the Jackie Robinson thing and like Thurgood Marshall, because you know, he plays like all, all, damn. Chadwick Boseman really does play all the like black icons, no matter the color. Hmm, weird. Um, anyway, uh, so I ran into him because, oh, when we were talking about the August Wilson cycle plays, T'Challa, I mean, Whew, that's not his real name. Uh, Chadwick Boseman was in that. And he was there, and I walked by him, and I should have got his autograph. But, like, I was like, oh, who's this? Okay? Like, I knew he did, you know, Jackie Robinson. I was like, whoa, okay, big book. But now, now he's T'Challa. Damn it. I got, I got a lot of respect for that man right there. Missed my chance. I do big, up, big up to Chadwick. I'm, I, I, I got a personal story, too. Oh, what's that? What's your story? But you know what? I, I didn't meet him, but my man Rich Bird met him. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they did the screening for that same movie you was talking about, The Thurgood Marshall. Oh, that's what's up. And I met him and Mr. Reginald Hudlin. Oh, okay. Shout out to Mr. Hudlin, and I also met another legend. That's what's up. Who? Oh. It, it was a lot of legends in the building. You know you're working with him. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I want to say Chadwick actually stopped and took a photo with RB, even though it was busy, and Black Panther hadn't even dropped yet. I think you just bypassed the whole section where I said, you're working with one. No, I heard you, but you really, um, you know, you, 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 you absolutely a gem. See, oh, th oh, thank you, Daryl. Daryl, you're so nice sometimes. I, I, drop, I drop gems daily, sometimes in the bathroom, when I'm taking a um, two. Oh, uh, yeah. I I'm try trying to get to this other... Um... <laughs> All right, so, so Warner Brothers put out a call because they're like, yo, graduating class of 2020 actors, we didn't get a chance to meet you. You 
didn't get a chance to meet us because of this COVID shit. So like, if you're an actor and you were graduating class of 2020, you can reach out to Warner Brothers because they want to meet you. And hey, maybe you'll get a deal. Wait, 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 how do I do that again? Um, Daryl, you are not part of the graduating class of 2020. That's some bullshit, son. Is that we at the bullshit section right now? No, we're not at bullshit. This is positive. That's that's positive. Well, it, it absolutely is a positive, but I mean, you know, how can I get there? It's not all about you, Daryl. It's not all about you. Yo, anyway, yo, I love this story, and I saw, I don't know if you saw this, but I saw the clip on YouTube, and it was so fucking cute. Um, so, yo, train them up. Train up the children, brethren. Uh, Trevor would appreciate my Jamaican accent on that. Uh, anyway, yo, North Carolina. Hey, yo, Trash, you messing up your language, son. Sorry. Yo, a North Carolina dad went viral for teaching his eight-year-old son, that's them right there. Is he so cute? He's so cute. Um, financial literacy. Like, he knows about stocks and bonds. Uh, he knows about, about uh, I, can't even, I can't even spit some of that financial jargon because I don't know it all. You know what? Shout out. Shout out to him. Yo, that's what we need to be doing. Teaching our kids the shit that we should have known but don't know. I, I, want, I want to say something, though, about that. What's that? He's not the only one doing it. No, I know he's not. I'm just saying. I'm, I mean, I'm on a, I mean, I'm, I mean, since we're on the topic, I want to give a shout out to my man, Demaraye. He teaches his kids the same thing. And he actually has videos. Oh, that's So cool. we should make those go viral, too. That's what's up. Yo. Yo, he should, he should, like, put those out for the community. We need that. They're on, on YouTube. I'm trying to put you on, son. Oh, well, then, like, dude, put it in the comments. What the fuck? I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make sure he knows about this so he can promote his again. Yeah. Oh, really? And here's another this one, I love this story too. Yo, a seven-year-old boy with sickle cell beat the coronavirus. Woo! I am so happy for him. Woo! I am legend assist. He's so cute. Look at his little his little eyes and his little mask and stuff. He's so cute. He's so cute. So cute. Good for him. And I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad you're feeling better, young king. You know how we got to do, you know, young kings. Um, so, yo, speaking of Ma uh, Malcolm X, yo, so much going on for him today. Um, the autobiography of Malcolm X is being performed by the one and only Lawrence Fishburne. That's dope. Yo, that is dope. First of all, it's going to be long as fuck, but hey, it's a dope read. So it pro it's going to be a dope listen. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. What's that? Hypothetically, if it was between Lawrence Fishburne, Sam Jackson, and Denzel Washington, who would you really want to hear say it or read that book? Lawrence Fishburne, I think, is a good choice. I think I saw this meme the other day, and I agree with that too. That Samuel Jackson should narrate Twenty Twenty because we need a lot of motherfuckers in the narration. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. Thought that was good. Thought that was good. Um, yeah. So move right along. Um, hmm. uh, oh, so I I reported this earlier, but I want to give you a reminder since the date is coming up. And um, speaking of Lawrence Fishburne, he's in this too. So Stephen Adley Gerges, Pulitzer Prize winning Stephen playwright Stephen Adley Gerges play Our Lady of 121st Street is going to be doing an original cast reading this Saturday, the 23rd with all the original cast members and Bobby Cannavale and Lawrence Fishburne will also be taking part in the reading. So yo, check that out. It's free. It's live on Zoom through Lab. Check it out. That's dope. I, I like that. Yo, that is dope. Yo, um, Shay, Chavez's like goddaughter, granddaughter, some shit like that. Yo, she was just appointed by Biden for his cabinet. That's good shit. Who, who, I'm sorry, who is she again? Did you, I said Chavez's, Chavez, hold on, hold on. Let me read yeah, because I think you just murderized her name, ran through it like a truck. I, I did, because, you know, we don't do names here properly, and um, it, the, her name was supposed to come up on the screen, but I guess the picture is too big. But anyway, Yeah, so my natural question was, who the hell is that? She was, uh, like, Che Chavez's descendant. 
All right, and so why exactly do I care? Because she's, her dad was an activist, and like now she's on Biden's panel. Let me, let me think about how that's going to work out. All right, now time for the bullshit. Yo, the cops. Yo, the cops were aggressive with Ahmad Aubrey. Yo, they, they, some footage came out and they were showing him, them trying to tase him when he had his hands up in 2017. That was the little, cause you know how they be, they be trying to like ruin black people's names when they kill us, when they fucking massacre us, when they ass assassinate us, they try to, they try to ruin our names and be like, oh, well they had run-ins with the cops in the past. Well, this was his run-in. It was some bullshit. You did not warn me. I'm sorry. I almost killed myself with that bullshit. Had to go quick. Had to go quick. Don't do that no more. I'll try not to. Yo, um, Carlos Santana's younger brother, Jorge Santana, passed away today. or Sorry, not today. The other day at the age of 68. He was an amazing guitarist like his brother. Let's take a moment of silence for my man. Please. Yo, I hope you're playing that guitar in heaven. Absolutely. I'm a matter of fact, I'm going to strum a few notes for you tonight. Please do. Yo, so remember we talked about that uh, Brooklyn school, uh, the, the Hasidic school that they shut down because they never shut down due to COVID and like police had to go shut them down. Yeah, so- Yeah, they had about 60 little kids in there. Yeah, yeah, they're not gonna be fined or anything. Yeah, yeah, de Blasio said that. I mean, I mean, Daryl, don't act surprised. Don't act surprised. I'm just saying, sir, I just finished watching a press conference with this man. Every day, every day he's on TV. Darryl, every goddamn morning at 9 o'clock. Daryl, don't act surprised. Every day I got to listen to him talk about, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. And now he playing around talking about, it's fine. All y'all little kids could just go ahead and play. I'm sorry, I'm in my rant right now. Yeah, well, that ain't in the... That ain't the only thing, but you know. I'm just saying, if I find out that they slammed one more black person to the ground because of this damn COVID shit. What's well, fine? Oh, okay, I'm back. I don't know if you can hear me. It says I'm back. Can you hear me, Daryl? I can hear you, but I, I don't know if you heard me. Probably not. IG be fucking up. I had a lot to say. Well, I was saying that de Blasio said beaches in NYC won't be closed. I mean, will be closed, but he thinks that it should be okay for New Yorkers to go to beaches in Long Island. Like, what the fuck? You know what? I'm, I'm, I got something to say. I'm going to give my commentary tomorrow on all of this coronavirus. I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to let loose tomorrow. Mad. We can't go to Long Island beaches. I don't understand. Make it make sense. It's not going to make sense. It's not. So we got to just keep the news. It's, I'm just saying, you got to use your own common sense at this point. Facts. Yo, um, shout out to Spike Lee. The trailer to The Five Bloods dropped today. Yo, shout out. I want to see it. Want to see it. Black veterans. Boom, 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 boom. Shot, 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 everybody. I'm hoping this is better. I'm just saying, I like it, I like it. I just, I like it. I just, I just really want it to be better than his last movie. Which one was that? That vampire shit was kind of trash. The Sweet Blood of Jeeth? Yeah, I didn't watch that shit. I did. Well, I mean, RB did. Yeah, I, I did. Um, stop, stop trying to name drop and let's just get this news going. <laughs> I mean, I just said I saw it. I didn't say it was good. Yo, so NYPD officer 
you know who killed Eric Ghana is not going to be charged by the feds in the chokehold death. Don't, don't drop your lip, Dara. We ain't surprised. I'm just, I just need air. I can't breathe, man. Yeah, unfortunately, neither could ever Ghana, but the feds don't give a fuck. So I just want to, yeah, shout out to his family. And shout out to, um, um, I forget his name right now, but the guy that filmed him that's in prison that they're like, they're trying to like force, they're trying to give him COVID. The guy that filmed Eric Ghana's death so that the world would know. They're trying to give that nigga COVID. Yo, you can write him. Ramsey. Ramsey. His name is Ramsey. Yo, you can write Ramsey. You can put money on his commissary. Because it's fucked up. It's fucked up what they did to him. It's fucked up what they did to Eric Garner. Like, yo, NYPD is fucked up. They're as bad as LAPD. Yeah. Yeah. Damn is all you can say. And speaking of damn, yo, Mel Gibson... Just dropped a new trailer with Kate Bosworth called Fighting Criminals. I didn't know he was still doing movies. I, you know what my next thing was going to say? You know what I was about to say, right? What were you going to say? Why the hell do we care? Yeah, that, I mean, that's why I said I didn't know he was still doing movies. I mean, clearly, there's probably no Jewish people in this movie. Or blacks, for that matter. Exactly. Not even on the train. Yep. Not on the train. Not on the train station. I mean, like I said, I didn't even know he was still doing movies. Is anyone checking for Mel Gibson? Anyone? I mean, Daryl was quiet because he couldn't breathe, man. That news just took the wind out of me. Yeah, no one responded. Oh, moving on then, because no one's checking for him. Yo, so, Franklin Nidifor, you know I fuck up names. That's what I do. That's what I do. He was a doctor... And he just recently passed from COVID only 19 days after coming out of retirement to help. Oh, wait, no, sorry, sorry. Wrong, wrong, doc, wrong one, wrong one. No, this, okay, this guy, wrong, sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong one. Okay, this guy, Franklin, not a fool. Wait, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Just, just stop, just stop, one second. I fucked that up. Let me redo this. Let me redo this. Daryl, shut the fuck up and let me redo this. Daryl, shut the fuck up. All right, okay. So, Franklin Nutterfor was a pastor at a mega church who was telling people he could cure COVID. He could cure COVID. He could lay hands on the motherfucker and cure COVID. He could lay hands, he could put hands on your head and boom, COVID fucking gone. But guess what happened to him? Let, let, me, let me take a guess. He was not able to do it effectively. What? He was not able to do it effectively. Uh, not only was he not able to lay his hands on people and cure them of COVID effectively, but he died of COVID after laying hands on a hundred people trying to cure them of COVID. G give me a second. Hey, yo, Trev, I hope that wasn't your cousin, son, because that was just some dumb ass. Yo, I always say, watch out for those mega churches. Well, really, I say watch out for church in general, but definitely those fucking mega churches because they're full of shit. But you ain't hear that from me. Can, can I have his church? You can't hear that from me. So, uh, hey, yo, church, there might be an opening at a church down south. I wonder if he even washed his hands between laying them on each person. Do you think he did? I'm going to go ahead and say no. Yeah, probably he probably didn't. He probably didn't. Yeah, moving right along. Yeah, he's stupid. Um, so, yo, Cuomo said that essential workers will now get free childcare. Which I'm kind of like... You mean summer school, too? Yeah, I mean, I guess. But I'm kind of like, shouldn't they have been getting free childcare? Like, they're out there, lives on the lines and shit. Shouldn't someone be watching their kids for free? I mean, I know they got, like, free parking right now. They live in large. Uh, okay. I didn't know free parking was living large, but I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, yeah. In New York City, it is. Well, I also want to shout out Grace Jones. Happy birthday to Grace Jones. Yo, we got to shout out the queen, honey. The queen. Yo, Grace Jones used to bring it. She still brings it. Like, she still looks fucking good. Have you seen her lately? 
I'm gonna go ahead and say she looks the same. Which is good. Which is good. So happy birthday. To Which her. is absolutely great because black don't crack, man. That's right. That's right. Yo, yo, Flav99.com said, rest in peace to the doctor who sacrificed his life. Yes. Shout out to him. I was confused in that story with the doctor who came out of retirement to help with COVID and then he passed a couple days ago. So rest in peace to him. Shout out to him, like, fighting the good fight. Real talk. Thank you for clearing that up because I was totally confused. I'm sorry. Sometimes, sometimes I get it fucked up too. You know? I can't be great every day. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. The tongue is absolutely mightier than the sword. That's right. Yo, Georgia Republicans have canceled the election for the state Supreme Court, uh, meaning that the governor can appoint someone, which is some bullshit. I think, yo, I think they need to do what we did in New York, like sue. Sue those motherfuckers for taking away your right. Like we sued and we got our primary back. There's no fucking way Governor Kemp should be able to pick the next fucking Supreme Court justice for Georgia. Number one, because he will pick someone bitch McConnell likes and someone fucking Trump likes. Um, yo, fuck that shit. Yo, what the fuck is going on with this government, yo? Sorry, I had a moment. I'm just saying, why don't you say that when you get to Cuba? She um, forgot where she live at. No, I know where I live at. I can say it wherever the fuck I want. I can be here and say it because we're the ones that need to do the work. Cuba living large. I'm just saying, you never been woken up at 3 a.m. I'm just saying, just chill. I've been woken up at 3 a.m. Now when people at the door, they don't even know what apartment they going to these days. Um, you sounding real, you sounding real, real crazy right now. So we're just gonna move on. Uh, Trump is refusing to unveil Obama's portrait at the White House, breaking a 40 year tradition and because he's fucking King Petty. Yo, son, he's a bitch, son. Yo, yo, on June 14th, they want, I saw something saying for everyone to make their profile picture on June 14th, Obama, because that's the day that they're supposed to, you know, unveil this picture and that way it'll really piss Trump off. Yo, you know he's already pissed because, you know, the commencement when Obama called him out. So now, now Obama calls him out. Now he don't want to unveil the picture. And so if niggas all change their profile picture, he going to be pissed, pissed. Trump, boy, what you mad, Trump? You big mad? Trump, big mad. He Yo, is so I think they should just start ignoring that dude, man. Stop giving that guy so much attention. Yeah, but you know they can't help it. Motherfuckers can't help it. Yo, so uh, bed which is some bullshit, bed got left out of the city's open streets. Like, they're not closing down streets in bed -Stuy for foot traffic only, which is bullshit because Brooklyn has way more residents than any of the other boroughs. I'm going to go ahead and say it's a good idea. Yeah, they need to do that. They need to do that. No, they don't need to do that because they're doing it up here and it's not working. Well, Brooklyn has more people, so we need to do it because they, they lock the parks. Well, you know what happens when they block the streets? I can't get my Amazon deliveries, man. Meet him at the corner. What's wrong with this girl, man? Yo, another sad one. Yo, Twilight actor Gregory Tyree Boyce, only 30 years old, and his girlfriend were found dead in a Las Vegas parking lot. Yo, I don't know what the fuck. That's crazy. Yeah. So like R.I.P. to him and his girlfriend and like I hope his family hope his family is doing okay. I just I just want to say why is all this weird shit happening during current lockdown season? 2020, y'all. It's crazy. Um, and with that, moving on to travel with the weather. Wait a minute, before we move on to travel, I got something to say. Well, make it quick. My battery's low. All right, well, you know what? I want to say the fire that happened in Harlem. Yeah, um, thank you for mentioning that. That was some bullshit. Yeah. We need to know what happened there. There was a big fire. I mentioned yesterday the explosions in L.A. over the weekend, but yeah, there was also a big fire in Harlem, so I'm glad you're okay, Darrow and Trevor, and, uh, and I'm glad all my peoples have checked in, but yeah, that was crazy. I just, I just want to add that that particular place is right across the street from where Clinton has office. Wow. 
So that's prime real estate. I don't know what's going on in these streets. All right, but now we got to turn it all about to travel with the weather. Hey, yo, Trav, son. Yo, yo, get, this, get, get these people online, son. Yo, there's a lot going on. Yo, I don't, 2020, 2020, man, you were supposed to be my year, but then you were like, fuck everybody. So at least you're nobody's year. I mean, if you're not going to be my now, year. Why y'all said no? Why y'all said no? You tell them about the fire? You tell them I'm, how them burn on the place? Trevor, you yeah, do man. How, how them burn? Wait there. How them burn on the place and nobody inside? Trevor, you do weather. Let's do weather. Let's get it going. You don't understand how them two things work? Um, we're about to lose this live feed. All right, so may I do it real quick? Right now, the weather nice, right? And, and you're going to get tempted to go outside. So if you go outside, make sure you put on your mask. Put it on your mouth. Yeah, man, put it on because you know what? The run are not done. No, she is damn sure not. Thank you, Trevor. You're welcome. And make sure you stop burning down the places. Chuck, they want to move out the black people out the neighborhood and burn them down. Yo, 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 Trev, son, you gotta be, um, you got, you, you don't leave that political stuff to me. Go ahead, what's up, son? Yeah, so I'm your homegirl, Onika. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yo, we're so happy y'all tuned in and y'all stayed with us to the end. For those of you that tuned in and stayed with us to the end, um, peace, yo. I am Daryl Dirt, and that was Trev, and I'm, and we back tomorrow at 4:45. Yo, our intro and outro song today is reggaeton. See you tomorrow at 4.45. 4.45. Maybe we'll be on time. Maybe we won't. Yeah, babe.